Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Well, as always, if you're new, my name's Emma, I'm an illustrator based in Sheffield and these are my daily-ish vlogs and it's absolutely pouring down outside. So today is Sunday when I'm filming this and I don't really want to work. I've already been out shopping to get a few bits and it's cost me like a million pounds just for like five items in my basket. What the heck is this world coming to? Anyway, so I've already done that, depressed myself a little bit by having no money. Uh, I would really want to be a cosy, cosy, cosy day today but there's some things that I want to order for my online shop so I've redesigned a few illustrations so if you watched me previously you'll know that when I was at my last market I realized that some of my card designs are from from such a long time ago and I'm coming to the end of that stock of illustrations on my cards so I've been slowly redesigning some of them and I've done a couple and I thought they'd make also really nice stickers. So I might see how much that costs. But basically I've transferred the image from my iPad where I designed them in Procreate and I've transferred that to my computer. I'm gonna have a play around in an editing software. I use Affinity, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I think it's worth mentioning if you are an illustrator and you are being slammed by the price of some editing softwares, for example, but not exclusively only, uh, Photoshop, for example, can be very expensive. I used to pay month after month for Photoshop for a subscription. It costs a lot of money. Um, I found out about a software company called Affinity. It's a one-off payment and it is pretty much the same, really. I mean, if you are a die-hard Photoshop uh, user and you know all of the shortcuts and, you know, your you're in tune with it you'll probably find the transition a little bit like some of the shortcuts don't work some of the the buttons are in different places so it might take you a little bit longer than someone who is like me who found photoshop a little bit tricky didn't really find it intuitive wasn't i didn't have the knowledge of someone who'd been using it for ages so transferring to something like affinity was dead easy for me because i, I didn't have all of those shortcuts and the shorthands and the keyboard shortcuts uh, wired into my brain. So for me, it was fine. Uh, and like I said, I'm not sponsored, but I do think it's worth mentioning because I know a lot of you are illustratory types and you may also be on the small business type journey and you might be finding life is expensive at the moment, which every day we find another example. Uh, so that could save you a bunch of money. Um, so yes, I've transferred those images over to my PC my Mac, whatever it is. And now I'm just going to play around in the editing software and then I'm going to have a look on uh, on the website where I buy my bits and bobs. And then let's go. I don't know how much work I'm going to get done today, but uh, it's I need to start the process because it's just one more thing floating around in my mind to do. So at least if I start the process, I've made it real and it's not just in my brain. So let's go. going to film this bit I was just going to delete the bit that I would filmed earlier but I thought no you need to see these days where I am not productive it is a Sunday it is a weekend I'm gonna give myself a break I mean I, it's one of my favorite things to do give myself a break uh, but I thought it was worth showing when days don't work out like they're supposed to like I said I could have just deleted that video and you know the intro that I've just filmed and no one would have known that I was not feeling productive today. But in, I gave it a go. I went on the computer and I know that there's a way that I can make cut lines on an image for a sticker. So for example, with stickers, you don't just send them a file of the image. You send them uh, a file that's got the image, it's got the cut line and it's got the bleed line on as well. And I know there's a way I can do it. I've made stickers before, I've done it. I just, for the life of me, couldn't work out how that is all I couldn't work out how so yes 
that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, at least I've got around to transferring those images onto my Mac, so they're ready to go when I am feeling a little bit more like it. But, you know, it's such a cosy day to day. I, I'm going to get a book. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to read. One thing that I might do, which is something I can do from the sofa, I'm going to get the slideshow ready for our next live drawing session because we're going to be drawing hands. My patrons have voted for Wednesday. So it's Wednesday the 20 something. Future Emma, who is editing, will put the date up here. If you are wanting to join in, you are very welcome. It's available to all patrons on all paid tiers, but my tiers start at a pound and you can just stay for one month if you want. So, um, yeah, they're, the tiers start at a pound. You can sign up on the one pound tier. You'll get an invite as long as you sign up before the live session. If you want to join the live session, sign up before then you'll have access to the invite for the live. If you are not bothered about the live session, but you would like to get involved in my drawing session this month, you can sign up anytime this month and you'll get access to, in fact, you can sign up anytime any month because you'll get access to the recordings. And as I record all of my sessions, whenever you're a patron, so as soon as you're a patron or whenever you jump back into being a patron, you can access the recordings, not just of the session that I'm going to do on Wednesday, but of all of the live sessions. So get yourself involved if you want to. No obligation, obviously. If you are going to, by the way, you need to know that very soon um, Patreon will be switching me over. They've, they've had a bit of back and forth with Apple. You need to look into it if you want to know more. But basically, Apple are... Um, basically, the long and short of it is that if you want to save money... I would probably advise, even though I can't, I'm not going to tell you you have to do this or not, but if you want to save money every month, just know that Apple, if you buy the membership on the Apple iOS app store, Apple will charge you 30% admin fee. All of the admin fee goes to Apple. So it is cheaper if you do buy anywhere else other than the Apple iOS app store, because uh, that will be a recurring charge and that's going into Apple's pocket. Uh, so you can if you want. I'm, I'm not trying to say do or don't, but, but just be aware that the admin fee that Apple charges isn't the same as if you buy it off the Patreon desktop site. So um, there is a sl small admin fee and that admin fee doesn't go to me either. That goes to the, the people who, who process your payment and stuff. Um, so whether that's Patreon themselves or whatever platform you go on to, to pay, uh, there is a small admin fee, but um, just for full transparency, it is a little bit more on Apple. So have a little shop around. It's always, always good advice. But like I say, I'm not telling you to do one thing or another. You do you. But it's worth mentioning because if you thought that that money was going to me and you wanted to support me more, it isn't. That money's going to Apple. I don't see any of that extra admin fee. So uh, don't be fooled into thinking that if you paid for a higher admin fee, you're helping me more, you're not. So you look after you, you look after your own expenses. And that is the end of my TED talk. I'm gonna go down and sit on the sofa and let's see what the rest of the day takes us, okay? As I'm getting my water, I've just spotted these. These are going really well. I've had a few more orders of these, which I need to get on. I'll do that tomorrow. Emergency pencil badges. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these are pencils that I've used and I've got right to the very end. I can't sharpen them anymore. And I've decided to make them into badges. I have my own, here's mine. This is a prototype and this is the messiest of the ones that I have ever done. This is the very first one I made months and months and months and months ago. So the glue is really gloopy on there, but I got it just to make sure that, um, I made it I made it to make sure that it would stand the test of time and I've been wearing this on my jacket I've only recently took it off to wash my uh, wash one of my jackets um so this is my like tester I suppose and it has stood the test of time whenever I wear this this guy gets mentioned a lot uh, I've only done two releases of these so far these two are left over from my first release this is number 14 and I think it's number one. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, and then this second release, there were only 16 and there's only, there's like two thirds left at the moment. Uh, but I know I've had a few more orders of those, so there'll be fewer than, than that. Uh, they're only available, I've only made them available online until the 31st of October. That's because I also want to sell them at in-person events and I don't want to run the risk that someone buys one at an in-person event and then someone else puts an order in for the same thing. So they're available till the 31st of October 2024. If you want one, better go and get one. And they all go towards, well, they go towards saving pencils going to landfill. And also they help me buy new art supplies. So it goes directly back into the whole art process. But on that note, let's grab the iPad and go downstairs. Today is another day. The early part of the video I filmed a day or so ago and I didn't film any more after that last little bit. I basically sat and read all day. I actually started a book and finished a book that day. My brain just wanted to sit and be cosy with a blanket around me and read. And that is 100% fine. I needed that day of rest and today I am feeling a bit more on it. So the day in between that I didn't film I actually ordered some stickers from my new illustrations. That's what I was trying to do the other day, isn't it? If I remember. So I've uh, ordered some of those stickers. They're in the post. Not in the post, but they're in, they're in the pipeline. And what I think I'm going to do today is go on my T-Mill shop. If you don't know, T-Mill is a, it's a platform where you can create a shop and it is fulfilled by T-Mill. Now, T-Mill use organic cotton, they send out plastic free, their factory is wind powered, they get all of their water from uh, for, that feeds their cotton from rainwater capture. Uh, it's quite, as far as fashion goes, it's as eco as you probably be able to make it. Um, it definitely has, I'd be able to make it. So I've got a T-Mill store. It is all fulfilled by them, but it's got my illustrations and stuff on it. And I was thinking about trying to make a T-shirt with my Neighbourhood Watch Cats logo on it. Now I was thinking maybe like a, just like a little pocket logo or something. I'll have a look. I'm going to go and play with that today. Also in the pipeline, I might as well tell you about this because some of you might be interested. Um, I've got a couple of things to apply for. So... There's a company called Picture Hooks who help budding illustrators break into the industry and they have got a couple of things on at the moment. The first thing is the buddy scheme. I think that the applications end like the 28th of October, something like that. Uh, so there's still time to apply if you watch this when the video goes out. Um, and basically they pay you, if you're successful, you, they pay you with an illustrator and they help you break into the industry. Uh, so that's something I'm going to uh, apply to because why not? And Picture Hooks also do some awesome competitions and they've got another one coming up, which is they want a before and after photo about the theme. I think this is it about the theme. What's in the box? I'll pop the links to those in the video descriptions. Also, if you want to get informed of any stuff that comes upon my radar like that, any kind of competitions, any opportunities, I can suggest to you that if you go and follow me for free over on Patreon, so just go along to Patreon and follow me for free, you will have access to some posts I do for free over there. So whenever anything like this comes up on my radar, any competitions, any opportunities, I post them up for free. So you don't have to follow me for free to access them, but if you follow me for free, you'll get a notification when any free content goes up and that's one of the bits of free content. So if you don't want to miss out, if you want to know what's on my radar, even things I'm not going to apply for, things that don't apply to me, if I hear about them and I think some of you guys might be interested, I post them up on there. It's not an exhaustive list of everything that's about, but it's everything that I hear about. So it's, you know, it's, 
it, it gives you more of an opportunity to um it's, it's it's not it gives you more of an opportunity to access the information so it's like the two of us having eyes open for opportunities and competitions so it's all the things that come into my inbox and my instagram and i see through things like that things that people tell me about and then um like i say it's not everything that's all going on at the moment but it is better than not knowing so if that's your kind of thing and you would like to get involved and you're interested get yourself uh, signed up on my patreon for free my patreon is patreon.com forward slash emma woodthorpe obviously no obligation you don't have to if you don't want to but the options there if you want you can if you don't want don't In fact, first thing on my list is to schedule our live drawing Zoom because it is in fact tomorrow while I'm filming this. When you're watching this, if you watch this as soon as it comes out, it'll be today. If you want to get involved, you are very welcome. Uh, so over on my Patreon, I do live drawing Zooms and everyone who's on a paid tier and the paid tier starts at a pound, uh, get the invite. So uh, I need to schedule that. In fact, I've already scheduled it. I just need to let my patrons know. Um, so yeah, it's available to all paying patrons and Matthias start at a pound and you can stay for a month if you want, so you just pay a pound uh, or you can keep your membership rolling over and get invites month after month. Uh, I might have mentioned this earlier in the video, so I'm not going to go on too much about that. It's difficult when I film a video over a couple of days, I keep forgetting what I've talked about. So I'm just letting my patrons know about that and putting the invite up. If you do want to get involved, just become a patron before the live session and it starts at 6pm UK time on the 23rd of October 2024. If you miss that date and you still want to get involved, we're going to be practicing drawing hands. Um, if you join in after that date, so if you sign up to my, to my Patreon after that date, you won't have access to the live, but you will have access to the recording of the live. So all of my sessions are recorded. So whenever you become a member, whether you keep the membership rolling over or you, or if you go out and dip back in, you get access for whenever you are a member, you get ex access to the recordings of the zoom sessions all the all the recordings that we've ever done so um if you just want to jump on for one month there is a bunch of stuff to get involved in before you cancel at the end of the month so there is that um and like i say it's patreon.com forward slash emma with but no obligation do not feel pressured at all i did keep the price low on purpose to make it as accessible to as many people as possible um but i do i am aware that it's still not a priority in a lot of people's budgets so don't feel bad but if you ever did want to it's there and you get access to all of the recordings we've done not just this one um but no obligation don't feel bad at all you're not missing that much i mean it's nice it's nice to meet on zoom and practice drawing but you could go out and practice drawing yourself you know you're not missing that much don't feel too bad um, but i'm going to schedule this then i'm going to get on my t-mail shop so at the moment i'm just scheduling a 30 minute reminder so I schedule this post to go out 30 minutes before the session. So even if you sign up late and you don't get the post that's going to go out right now, telling people what the invite is, uh, you can sign up. And as long as you've got 30 minutes left, you can find the 30 minute call. Um, but if you go, if you did sign up, let me get this. So if you sign up after the half hour call, so if you sign up like three minutes before the session starts. You can still get the invite link by going to collections. If you go down here, Zoom invites, you can click on that and it's got the most recent Zoom invite there. Um, and if you ever want to go and get the recordings, you just go, when you're in the collections tab, you would just go to recordings and all of the recordings are up there so now you know
So that also is done. Uh, if you would like to check out what I've got, so I've got a few, my lips look so dry. Uh, if I've got some adult t-shirts, got some kids t-shirts, I've got a couple of different bags as well. So they used to just do tote bags, but now they've got string bags, so like little um, drawstring over shoulder things, like a gym bag type thing. Uh, and I've put the new Neighbourhood Watch illustration on there as well. So if you would like to have a look at those, no obligation, but it is embers hyphen and hyphen ink dot tmail dot com and I'll pop the link in the video description so you can go and check those out. Uh, like I say, they're all fulfilled by tmail themselves and they've got a good return policy. They've got um, a good customer service policy. So they're really easy to deal with for me and for you. Uh, and they're all organic cotton. Like I say, they print them in a wind powered factory. They're big on sustainability. Um, they've got a bunch of information on their website all about the sustainability thing. So if that's of interest to you, go and have a look at that. And I would be very grateful if any of you like that stuff enough to buy it. Obviously don't feel obliged or anything, but um, yeah, you know, with Christmas and stuff coming up as well, you might find something on there that you think someone would really like. So yeah, go and check that out. It's embers hyphen and hyphen ink dot tmail dot com. So what I'm doing now is just getting the slideshow ready for our live Zoom session. So I've collated a bunch of images this week, this month, we're going to be drawing hands and I've collected all the images together. So I'm just putting them in a slideshow, getting them all looking nice, uh, putting the copyright on there and everything. And I'm also going to make that into a PDF. Again, like the live sessions and the recordings, it's going to be available to anyone who's on a paid tier, but like I said before, if you sign up on a paid tier and you only stay for a month, you can go in there, you can download the PDF and then that's yours. It's it's only downloadable when you're a paying member, but you can download it and you can have it to print off or to use in the future to practice if you want to. And obviously, once you've downloaded that, that's on your computer. So uh, that's what I'm doing now. The slideshow is going to be for the live event and then I'm going to use those images and make a downloadable PDF. So I'm going to get on with that because it is tomorrow. <laughs> when you're watching this, it'll be today. Hopefully, if you're watching it, if you're watching it when it goes live, I still need to get my head around the whole thing about people being able to watch this like 50 years time. Okay, that's done. Last thing for me to do is to package up some orders. So I've had some more orders of emergency pencil badges. And this feels like a bit of a salesy video. It's not, I've just got a lot of things going on at the moment in my small business. So uh, these are available for my small business website from my small business website, which is Embers and Ink. If you don't know, I run a small business called Embers and Ink. And uh, these pencil badges are made from pencils that I have used in my sketching and my illustration business. And it stops them going to waste, put them on a badge. And these are available in a really small batch, a batch of 16. So these are, that's number 10 of 16. And uh, they're only available until the 31st of August. Sorry, they're only available until the 31st of October, 2024 online, when I'll take them offline and any that are left, I'm gonna sell in online markets and stuff. And that's just to ensure that I don't accidentally sell the same badge because they are individual badges with individual numbers. So I don't want to accidentally, you know, sell two of the same one. So they're available until the 31st of October. I've had a couple of orders. So I'm going to package those up now. But you don't need to see that because that's hella boring. 
and I've really got about 2% battery left on this camera. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, maybe give it a thumbs up if you want to. And if you haven't, that's okay. There are other videos that I do. This is just one of those studio type vlogs where I'm doing a bit of admin. And if this generally is not the kind of thing that you ever want to watch again, feel free not to watch me. That's fine. We're not all for everybody and that's okay. Um, but if you did like it, and you would like to see more of me, that's brilliant. Do a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment and YouTube will probably show you more of my stuff and maybe even more stuff like my stuff. So uh, there you go, win-win. So I'm gonna leave this video here and I will hopefully catch you in the next one. So until then, bye.